Next up on our agenda is the, our virtual 5K. I've asked Mr. Jacobs to head our committee. Mr. Jacobs. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. We are getting a lot of signups. Mrs. Flood is in first place. Yes. Whatever. Mrs. Taylor is in second. And Mrs. Wickard is in third place, along with Mrs. Nunner. Yes. We're a little bit behind in fundraising this year, but given our situation, that's bound to happen. But how can we get some more kids out there to fundraise? I noticed sixth grade wasn't in the lead, Mr. Jacobs. Um, yeah. Ugh. But didn't you say you would definitely be in first place? I don't remember that. Wouldn't it be great to be the top fundraising class? Yes, and then your class will receive a special prize from Mr. Wilson. Oh, well, good luck, because my class is going to raise more money than all the teachers combined. Yes, I believe that those were your exact words, Mr. Jacobs. You said you would raise more than all of us combined. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs, for that report. You're welcome, Mr. Wilson. Anything for you, sir. What can we do to raise more money? Our PTO does so much for us. Anybody? Yeah. Kindergarten Mrs. does this. They don't even know about the 5K yet. So how do we motivate them? Yes, Mr. Jacobs. I have an idea. We get a swarm of bees. The bees can then chase the kids. I know a great apiarist. That'll get them running. Hmm. Does he do good work? No, Mr. Rummel, I use a bad apriest. Oh man, that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, it's more about the fundraising anyway. Any other ideas? Anyone? Mr. Jacobs. We could borrow some animals from the zoo again and we could start another stampede. That will get the students running. Mr. Jacobs, please tell me you didn't do that. I did. I think we just need to encourage the children to fundraise. Let's not focus so much on the running part, even though I could beat you. Even though I always win. <laughs> How about we have Mr. Wilson dress up in something for Halloween? Yeah, yeah, I like this idea. Yes, and then chase the kids. I have a gorilla seat in my car. It'll be perfect. I can go get it. I, I can get it right now if you want. Go get it. Let's go. Wait, 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 Mr. Jacobs. What's stronger, a bear or a gorilla? Bears are strong. But gorillas are stronger! Guys, we have a great episode planned. Mr. Wilson is gonna dress up as a gorilla and surprise the students. Oh, you're gonna to wanna to see that. Not only that, we have a lot of teachers who are gonna share some, some virtual 5K tips with you on, on how to do the virtual 5K. And uh, I hope Mr. Rummel's okay after what happened. You, you guys will see. But first, we have Mrs. Yock and Mrs. Fend who are gonna share some tips. Roll the clip. Go out and explore with a friend. Discover something new and exciting. Hike, Hike McCormick. McCormick. I agree. Hiking is a great way to train and participate in the virtual 5K. When I go hiking, I wear a gorilla suit to keep the bears away. Speaking of gorilla suit, is he ready? Is he ready? I got it right here. Okay. <laughs> 
He's gonna dress, guys, Mr. Wilson's gonna dress up in a gorilla suit and surprise his students. Stay tuned. This is Chandler. <laughs> Happy birthday! The virtual 5K has begun, and the students are all excited about it. Never ending story. Oh, story. Oh, and another Esther Ta-da! Ta-da! Mrs. Verzi, Mr. Rummel. Mrs. Kaiser have some fun tips for you for the virtual 5K. Let's check it out. Is he done with the lunch yet? Oh, hey there. I didn't see you come in. I hear you're gonna wanna run a 5K. Well, here are a couple tips and tricks to help you get along. Number one, you're gonna wanna stay hydrated. Oh, and if you fall down, get back up and keep going, okay? Good luck out there, and have fun. Hi guys, Mrs. Verzi here. I'm here to show you how to properly warm up before a run. I'm on a stationary bike, so there's many things you can do. First of all, you can sit down, and you can go, let me get my feet in so I'm safe, super, 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 super fast, super fast. Or you can pace yourself, which is what you really should do. And then you can enjoy the ride. And while I'm enjoying it, I'm gonna sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Those are just a few. Oh, wait, can I help? Also, you need to make sure you hydrate properly. Mmm, delicious. Woo! I just ran a great race. I had to cool off. Woo! Feels so good to cool off. had a great race. Best thing to do now is to cool off. I can either take a short walk and cool my body down or I can stretch. Oh, stretching feels so good at the end of a run. Yeah, I'd say that. I'm probably Mr. Wilson's idea man or problem solver, if you will, as his AP. And yeah, he's always coming to me asking my opinion on things or how things should go. Uh, so yeah, 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 we're probably gonna be running the five virtual 5k together as besties. Go ahead, and I'm gonna let you do it because I'd rather you, you do the movie side that you're just not athletic enough to do some of the other Well, things. so I still want to do that run thing where we run together um, in Battlestar Galactica. You said you would watch it with me. Um, I'll try to, I'll consider it. Thank you. Mrs. Geis is gonna be talking to us about heart rates. And speaking of heart rates, Mr. Wilson is gonna be getting the students' heart rates up in just a m Hey, you ready? You ready? I got it right here. I really like this idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, boys and girls. When you're training um, for your run, look at your heart rate from time to time so you know if you're in the training zone. If you look at this chart, the training zone shows you your birthday, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 for ages, and heart rate, 90, 100, 110, all the way up in the training zone is different for each of the people in different age groups. So to take your pulse and find out what your heart rate is, take two fingers underneath your jaw, push up towards your tongue, and you can feel your heart starting to pulse. Count for six seconds on the clock, watching the second hand. Take your number, multiply by 10, and you'll know how fast your heart is beating in one minute. Good luck, and train safe. Bye-bye. You know, we're getting close to the 5K here at McCormick, and obviously, you know, trying to get everyone ready for the 5K. Um, if it takes me maybe scaring some kids and trying to get them to go, run and get outside and uh, get ready. That's what it's going to take. So um, I've got my gorilla suit. We're going to head over and visit some of our students. So hopefully we can motivate them in that 5k. Ah.
but from fourth grade. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. Virtual 5K, sign up. <laughs> Is someone watching you? Are you guys scared? Yeah, I 
Halloween. Have a happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. <laughs> See you guys. So it's been a busy few weeks here at McCormick and it continue to be busy. We had our pumpkin parade this uh, week, which is where students bring pumpkins, revolves around our ELA curriculum. Uh, they write a little narrative, maybe about a character, about a scene, or they write a po poem. I made Mr. Jacobson a pumpkin. Yeah, I So again, uh, the kids really get into it. We do a, a, a parade where students walk around and get to see what their fellow classmates did. Also on the horizon for us is our Veterans Day program. We've done this for years at McCormick to celebrate those that have served. And uh, this year will be a little different. It'll be virtual. Uh, Mrs. Grady and our sixth graders have been putting a ton of time into the pro program. And we can't wait to share that with you. We sure did. Mr. Wilson and I got you guys good. Me and Mr. Jacobs looked at this great ninja video. Let me see. Don't worry, I'm not gonna trick you. I'm not worried, I'm practically unscarable. Sit down right here. I know what this is. This is meant to make me feel all calm and relaxed and then a big ghoul is gonna jump out and scare me right Oh, look at Crosley. Oh, he's medit. Oh, he's focusing and meditating. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, he's so peaceful and calm. Look. Oh, there's the big scary ghoul. Oh, wow. You see, I told you, I am unscarable, Crosley. Crosley? Mr. Gator. Ah! Oh!